Is the Logitech C920 webcam worth it in 2021? This has been the go-to webcam for streamers and video conference calls for a long time. It's a very good entry-level budget-friendly webcam. I wanted to show you guys how this webcam holds up in 2021 with a couple of other cameras here. So here I have the iPhone 11. And as you can see, the iPhone 11 looks really crisp. It looks really good. But that's taking into account that the iPhone has a processor that can manage the image and do some manipulation to make it look really good. So that's what the iPhone looks like. If I add the iPhone and the Logitech webcam side by side, you can see on the left here, we have the iPhone. Looks pretty crisp. There's a lot of dynamic detail. That's very sharp. This is the rear facing camera on the iPhone 11. And on the right here, we have the Logitech C920 1080p webcam. And I have added some color grading here. So I'm just gonna take it off. So it's some color correction and color grading for the Logitech. So. If I remove the color grading for the Logitech, this is what the camera will look like stock when you plug it in without any color correction. So this is what it looks like without any sort of color correcting. So this is the two raw images next to each other. When I add some basic color corrections, it does make the contrast and the detail a little bit better. So you can manipulate the footage a little bit. The iPhone is just a straight iPhone image and it looks, the iPhone looks amazing, but you're not always gonna use your iPhone as a webcam for convenience sake. One of the good features about the Logitech, it has this little clip where you can just attach it on the top of your monitor. If that doesn't work, you can also screw it in to a mount so you can mount it on a third party tripod or something like that as well. And to give you guys another comparison of a camera that's more high quality, more a $2,000 budget with a lens and a full DSLR camera. This is my DSLR camera with a like budget of $2,000. So this has got a decent lens on it. Also, the camera itself is about $1,500. So if you wanted to have a comparison of what the quality was compared to a really high-end quality camera, it, it holds up pretty decently if you're just using it as a webcam. So this is a DSLR setup as a webcam. I switch back to the two cameras here. We have the C920 and the iPhone. Now, as for the lighting that I have here, I have two windows side by side, and I have a little Elgato light, and it's on a very low setting. If I turn the light off for the Elgato, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is just the window light that I have with the camera. So I'll show you that with the camera setting here. So the lighting that I have here is I have two windows and I have this Elgato light here and that's my DSLR camera. So all I had was the light and the two windows for lighting here. And this is the iPhone and the C920 with just the window lighting. So natural light, no other extra lights added. And this is the Elgato light that I've added with the natural window light as well. And now we're back to the C920 with the two windows and the light. Now, if you guys are looking to buy this webcam to use for yourself, if you're in web conferencing, live streaming, maybe getting started and you have a low budget, I'll leave some affiliate links to this webcam itself and also leave a link to my free LUTs for this webcam. And I'm gonna be doing some tutorials of how to set this up with the LUTs in a very simple context for you guys to learn. And I'll also be leaving some video links to this webcam. If you already have this one and you wanna upgrade the video quality, I'll be doing some tutorials on this as well to get the footage to look like this if you're happy with the footage on this one. But is this webcam worth it in 2021 with all these other options that you can get? It's definitely budget friendly, which is great and it is robust. It, I've had this webcam for a very long time and it has never failed me and it hasn't broken and I've dropped it and a whole bunch of things and it's lasted the test of time so far. And it does hold up pretty well compared to some other cameras in video quality. So. I definitely would recommend it if you haven't got it and you have a low budget. If you wanna do something a little bit more better than your basic webcam, maybe from your computer monitor, which are very low quality. This is a good step up from that. So recommend checking that out if you haven't picked one up yourself. I hope you guys got some value out of this video and happy shopping.